send in the clowns. Hey guys, Mr. Everything here, back with another movie review video. And in today's video, we're going to be reviewing Joker. All right, so as you guys know, Joker is out this weekend. I saw it yesterday and wanted to bring my review to you guys. So for you guys that are new here, how I like to do my reviews, I like to talk about the cast, the story, give some of my positives, some of my negatives, and then give my score. And also, the screen you guys are looking at, yes, this is the thumbnail for the video, but don't worry, I'm going to be adding clips and images throughout the video so you guys won't be looking at this screen the entire time. But anyway, just jumping into the cast. So obviously, this stars Joaquin phoenix zazzy beats robert de niro and many more the story of this film it's the story of the joker it tells the origin of the joker how he becomes the joker but specifically it shows his day-to-day -day life just showing how bad his life is and, you know all the hardships that he has to go through he has a mental illness his mom is sick he has problems at work you know just showing how a man has so many bad days and how that can turn him into a horrible person how he becomes in this film which is the joker you know just jumping into the positives i mean my main positives are everything that makes a great film which is what i believe this movie is which is great directing great acting and a great score and overall this film has all of that it's so masterfully made and it gets you thinking right after the film as soon as i left the theater i was still thinking about this and even if it wasn't a comic book movie take dt off of it take joker out of it it is just such a great character piece and it truly is a character movie because i believe there's only a few scenes in in this film where it doesn't have Arthur in the actual frame but other than those couple of scenes every shot in this movie has Arthur in it because it truly is about Arthur there is no other side character or supporting characters even though there are supporting characters in the film it's still just about one man which I love that and Joaquin Phoenix as you guys have been hearing I mean it's, it's no surprise at this point because he's a great actor we knew he was going to give a great performance but he truly is really great in this film and I already know the comparisons are going to come oh who's better Heath Ledger or Joaquin Phoenix all I will say is he gives him a run for his money it, it's really close he is really great as Joker I mean he's not bad he's great I mean but it's Joaquin Phoenix so we kind of expected that so he's great in the film the directing which the director of this film Todd Phillips you guys know him from the Hangover movies which is actually really surprising because you would think the Hangover movies that guy directed this yeah somehow he directed this a tonally and completely different movie from those movies entirely and he did a great job you know even just some of the shots were just so beautiful and it was just so beautifully shot and the way they made Gotham look it made it look so realistic you know a super destroyed horrible city to live in they made it look so beautiful in that way and I love that and also I kind of had to address the controversy in the room the elephant in the room as you guys know you guys definitely have been hearing about this there's this big controversy going around you know people are, think that this movie endorses violence and that it glorifies mass shootings and that it shows a sympathetic light on the joker character and i had to 100 disagree with that just because you show something in a film does not mean that you endorse it or that you believe in it or that you glorify that certain subject i think that they're showing the joker in this movie do bad things if anything is showing that do not become this it's not showing that it's okay to do this and it's no spoiler to say that joker kills people in this movie but if anybody knows anything about the joker they know that 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 is the character i mean this character has been around for 60 plus years and people are just now complaining about this i mean not too long ago the dark knight came out you know that movie that everybody loves and talks about heath ledger won a post-death oscar for everybody talks about how great heath ledger's performance is he kills people in that movie he kills people a lot he blows up a hospital and no one talks about it and there's so many other violent movies I can name that nobody brings up any complaints about, but all of a sudden this movie comes out and people are like, oh, they're trying to make us feel bad for a killer? No, not really. I mean, even though throughout the film you feel bad for him, but you don't feel bad for him in a sympathy way like, oh, I feel bad for this guy. What he's doing is right. No, you feel bad for him in a way that, hey, this guy has a horrible life. I mean, his mom is sick. I mean, he has problems at work. He gets jumped multiple times. And none of this is a spoiler because we see it in the trailer he's at work and then some kids jump him and smash a sign over his face and his mom is sick all the other crap that he has to deal with and he has a mental illness and people make fun of him for that as well of course you're gonna feel bad for him but by the end of the film he truly does become the joker character so at the end of this film you don't necessarily feel bad for him anymore sure throughout the film you feel sympathetic for him but not in a way where you're like oh what he's doing is right and i should be doing this too 
and I don't think it promotes violence. I don't think it's going to endorse violence. I don't think it glorifies it. It doesn't say that being a killer is a good thing. It's not saying that at all. And I don't understand this controversy because it doesn't make any sense. There's so many other violent movies out there and this does not put a sympathetic light on the Joker. Yes, you do feel sympathy for him. Yes, you feel bad for him. But ultimately, he is the Joker. And in this movie, he does Joker things, which is kill people and create chaos like the Joker has always did. Uh, but yeah, jumping into some more positives, I thought the rest of the cast was really good as well. And I really love the score. I thought the score was great. It was super deep and, you know, peaceful at the same time, but also haunting. It was the perfect Joker score. Um, and as far as Oscar nominations, I do agree with a lot of people. I do think Joaquin Phoenix can definitely get an Oscar nomination for uh, Best Actor. As far as the other categories, I don't know if it's going to be nominated for Best Picture or Best Directing, uh, but maybe it will. But uh, as far as acting and score, I do think those should be nominated. I thought those were uh, great. Joaquin Phoenix, as far as I'm concerned, I think he should be nominated for Best Actor. I thought he was great. But anyway, jumping to my negatives. So I can't go into too many because that would be spoilers. But I will say, Zazie Beetz character, who sort of plays a love interest, I didn't like that part so much. It didn't work. But yet again, I can't go too deep into it. And also the Waynes, you know, Thomas Wayne, Martha Wayne, and Bruce Wayne. As you guys know, they're in this film. That was in the trailer as well. It got a little bit repetitive. It's no spoiler to say that Thomas and Martha Wayne are in this film. So you guys inherently already know kind of where their characters go. So it was kind of repetitive seeing that same scene again. But other than that, man, it, not much negatives. There's a few things I didn't like about the film. And I, I can't really go too deep into it because it will be spoilers. Uh, but overall, I thought the film was pretty great. I thought it was a really good film. I don't know if I'll say it was like an all-time great film. You know, I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10 or anything. But it was a really good film. I really enjoyed it. It was a great character study. And overall, I'm going to give Joker a B plus. So yeah, I'm going to give it a B plus, B plus, A minus around that range. I'm not going to give it an A plus. I don't think it's a 10 out of 10 film. I did have a few minor problems with it. Uh, but yeah, overall, really enjoyed Joker. But anyway, you guys comment down below. Give me your thoughts on Joker if you guys saw it. If you guys are seeing it, let me know if you guys are excited. Be sure to like, subscribe if you guys are new. Check out my other movie review videos, Joker videos, and have a great rest of your day. All right, bye guys.